So after I do a playback one time of just watching the gameplay, I'll play it back again with the input viewer at the slower speed. And I'll not time that. So three, two, one, go. Uh, that didn't work at all. Okay, hold on. Three, two, one, go. Okay, that looks better. So the changes mainly with this revision involve some reordering of code. So in the previous revision of this task, we had the code in a worse order that made the actual game loop slower. And with this revision, everything's gotten a lot faster. And I've tested a lot of other tweaks to it on top of what's here and haven't found any further improvements. So I'm hoping this is about as good as it gets for now and I'll just I'll run this and have it be it for now you can see the, ga the gameplay isn't as slow as it looked before when I was running with the input viewer the, the gameplay really is not that terribly slow um, Especially with the new improvements to the speed of the, the execution. It does still slow down, of course, as more enemies get on screen because it has to do more and more math with the lists that store all of the, the enemies. So before, there were checks in multiple places to see if Daleks had died, to see if Daleks needed to be cleared of sprites and things like that. And I just the way I reordered things, I only had to do those things once. So that was really helpful. Um, there's not too much more. Oh, there, there was a, one other thing that I'll point out as we see it when I do the playback with the inputs where there was actually a significant improvement found for this one I'm showing you now uh, where the Delvar instruction can be used in a way that I did not know of before so there, there's so there was some basic stuff found that wasn't known until this was written There's like a level of complexity where if you, you just you can't try too much because the game yeah, so two just under 245. That seems to be playing back at the actual speed of the calculator then, so that's good. A little bit of a late split the way that tasks are difficult to time sometimes. So now let's go back and do it again, but with without timing anything and just watch it with the input viewer because it'll be a little bit slower with the input viewer running so the, what we found with Dalvar is, is a Dalvar is a weird instruction it's like the only instruction that doesn't need its own line um, like a lot of other instructions where um, you can't just like chain different instructions on top of each other. You can't say like if ands equals 91 and then immediately go into another instruction. You need a new line. Delvar doesn't need a new line. But also it doesn't contribute to the line count at all. Which I don't think anybody had thought of with respect to single line if statements. So there's a single line if statement now in the task where it says if this, Delvar this, and do that. But there's no and. It's just Delvar s and then it keeps talking. So it's really interesting how Delvar works. Another thing I didn't mention in the previous playback of this task is that there's some really interesting um, actual double input canceling that has to be done in the programming because there's some places where we want to place a right bracket multiple times in a row 
and you can't just hit right bracket and then immediately again afterward hit right bracket because it would get detected as a hold. But if you hit right bracket and then the right key, you'll stay in the same spot. But then if you hit the, the right bracket button again, the right parentheses button, then it's detected as a second press of the parenthesis key. So that's really interesting to me because there's like direct parallels I've seen with that in other speedruns from doing Pokemon stuff. I think if you were to were look for RNG that is better for this task, one of the best places to look would be for this level because there's a really long section of waiting here where we're just repeatedly staying in the same spot to wait for a guy to come catch us. So that, that could be improved pretty significantly. There was some other stuff I found. So, hey, Illy. Yeah, there's some other stuff I found where I couldn't get the speed of the program run faster, but I could make the code smaller. So there's like one section where you have to get the sign, like whether, uh, uh, basically figure out whether a Dalek is in front of you, behind you, or in the same column as you for both the both directions, so both left, right, and up, down. And so basically we want to take like a sign out of that. We want to get whether the Dalek's place or, or our place minus the Dalek's place is positive, zero, or negative in both directions. And there are some really interesting tricks you can do to do that math on a calculator in, in like the TI-83 programming and get the sign. So zero, negative one, or plus one, but they're really slow and it's faster to actually just do like two normal comparisons. Like if it's greater, then make it one. If it's less, make it negative one. So there, that's the new Daleks tasks. 